Keeping together is progress. Working together is success. Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of the school management, I extend a very warm welcome to all present here to grace this orientation program for grade two for the academic session 2022-23. I would like to invite our academic coordinator, Manmina, to give you an insight of the coming academic year, which will help you to be well apprised about the various areas related to your ward in SWS. Before we begin, may I request you all to switch off your mobile phones or put them in silent mode. Thank you. Never stop learning because life never stops teaching. The past year has taught us, once you choose hope, anything is possible. As we embark on our new academic set, I extend a very warm welcome to our director, Mrs. Avinash Kaur. Welcome, ma'am. As we embark on a new academic session, we welcome you, dear parents, to a joyful journey of academic accomplishments. We at SWS believe that the art of teaching is the art of awakening, the natural curiosity of young minds. We acknowledge the fact that the schools and homes have shared goals. Both are committed to nurturing of children. Leadership is the capacity to translate a vision into reality. Our director, Mr. Sandeep Singh, and our principal, Mrs. Poonanjit Kaur, need no introduction. They are our pillars of support who continuously inspire us to achieve excellence. Thank you, ma'am, for always being there for us. A leader is the one who knows the ways and shows the way. Our dynamic head, Mrs. Sarika Sharma, is always there to support and guide us in all our endeavors. We believe that children are the promise of the future, the assurance of greater things to come. It is a well-known fact that a strong foundation in the formative years plays a vital role in fostering lifelong competencies. The child's experience of learning in the foundation years has a profound influence on his learning abilities. So let's together nurture their innate potential and make them confident, competent, and caring. As we begin the new session, we would like to thank you, dear parents, for entrusting your precious little ones in our care. And we hope to instill in them a love of learning, making their journey at SWS a delightful experience. We at SWS believe every child is unique, resolute, and capable. Children learn to be strong and independent through positive relationships. Children develop well in enabling environments. Children learn in different ways and at different rates. Education is not just about learning facts, but more so about learning how to think. It is learning to make good choices. It's learning to act with a purpose. The curriculum focuses on the child's well-being in all areas. We strive to develop an enthusiasm for learning by nurturing curiosity, a sense of wonderness, an eagerness to learn by providing them a stimulating environment and empowering our young. The five C's of our curriculum. We strive to provide a platform where students can express without fear, collaborate, enhance their critical thinking. We give wings to their imagination and creativity and instill skills and values which will help them to appreciate their Indian ethos and keep them rooted to their culture and heritage. Let the students of SWS be described as inquisitive, empowered with knowledge and critical thinking. Tell me I forget. Teach me I remember. Involve me and I love. Positive, concrete, hands-on experiences. Encourage young children to make choices 
the socials, explore their immediate surroundings. They learn to collaborate, integrate, and inquire. Activity-based learning ensures active engagement of the learner with concepts and instructional materials. Learning is hands-on and experiential, providing learners the opportunity of learning through manipulations of material and objects. At SWS, we strive to create an environment where the children are led from the known to the unknown and they learn by exploring, discovering, creating and reflecting. They are guided to use their knowledge and skills to cope with real life challenges. Children are engaged and exposed to wonderfully bright and stimulating learning areas. We integrate the digital pedagogies with the curriculum to enhance their knowledge. I can give you tools to reach the dreams that you have inside. Various tools like the Think, Pair, Share, Role Plays, Read Aloud, Quizzes, Picture Talk are used to initiate learning in the early years and mold the young learners. Thinking, fine motor and creative skills are enhanced through these techniques where students learn by doing and are prompted to think out of the box. The child begins to perceive not only through his eyes but also through his speech. Language development is crucial in the early years. It supports the ability to communicate, express and understand feelings. Children start with phonic sounds and then move on to blending words and forming sentences. I do believe something is magical can happen when you read. Reading exposes the students to the magical world of words. Reading rituals help our little wonder eyes hone their listening and speaking skills. Numeracy is an important part of learning for children in the early years as it provides vital life skills. Using numbers, concepts and skills to explore, discover and create. Children learn to organize, analyze and apply. Children are naturally curious. We help kids understand why the environment is important, provide them with building blocks that they need to live eco-friendly and sustainable lives. Kids are encouraged to research, investigate how and why things happen. There are shortcuts to happiness. Dance, music and art is one of them. Each discipline of music, dance and art engage a child's brain, body and emotions in different ways to encourage their confidence and find joy in self-expression. Children love circle time. It brings just the right blend of stature, enjoyment and learning. It offers children a safe place to develop social and emotional connect with their educators. Hybrid classes will be conducted through Google Meet for all the students who have opted for the online mode of learning. The link for the Google Classrooms will be shared in the WhatsApp group. Do it all. We would encourage you to follow the safety protocols and inculcate the same in your ward to keep our schools open and safe. The aim of assessment is to build knowledge and skills through a variety of ongoing activities and assignments. We will be conducting weekly reviews to assess to assist the child for concept clarity. <coughs> Our students thrive in an environment of collective pride and achievement 
It is heartening to see each child bloom, each one with a different hue, a different fragrance, a different persona, yet so unique in his or her own special way. Despite being online, we organized various calendar activities so that the students, though sitting apart, could still connect and relate to each other. It was a visual delight to see our little ones excited, dressed up in hues of yellow for the Basant Panchmi and invoking the blessings. We have our young scientists in making and behold the joy of discovery that you see on their faces. Life skills are inculcated through various fun activities and fireless cooking. Students are encouraged to eat a healthy diet. They love to be involved in decision making. Sensitizing our little ones about nature and creating an awareness about being kind to birds and animals. Festivals are there to teach us that life is a celebration. Here we would like to thank, the, thank and appreciate the efforts of all our parents who enthusiastically supported us in making these events a great success. We just had a very successful offline graduation for the students of the kindergarten. It is time to celebrate new beginnings and say goodbye to everything that has given us a reason to smile. It is warm memories of the past and big dreams for the future. An insight in the school processes. We have term books to ensure lighter bags. We, are, we follow a policy of no homework, but we will be sharing homework, uh, recaps like spell logs, reading assessments, and worksheets every Friday. We strongly believe when parents get involved, children are more likely to succeed, have positive attitudes and grow up to be more successful. We'll be sharing a monthly note to update you about the concepts to be done during the month and all the activities planned for the month. The students who need a little support to come at par with grade level shall be given extra time on Saturdays to bridge their learning gap. They say you don't learn to walk by following rules, you learn by doing. The school almanac is an important link of communication between the teachers and the parents. Please sign the almanac regularly. Kindly go through the printed pages and fill in the details on page 1 and 2. Circulars are a vital link between the school and home. Please sign the acknowledgement slips and send them back well on time. Please ensure your child reaches school on time. The timings for class 2 is 8 a.m. Punctuality is expected from the students. Please assist and supervise your child's recap work and help them to complete it regularly. Acknowledge the circulars and notes shared by the teacher and respond on a priority basis. For all Google feedbacks, you'll have to log in through your child's school email ID. In case of a technical problem, you can contact our IT team for assistance. The numbers will be shared in the group. In case of any queries, please contact the class teachers between 2 to 3 p.m. 
Please ensure your child is in proper school uniform for the hybrid classes as well. Kindly ensure that the child wears his or her ID card to school daily. Please ensure that your ward's books, lunch box, water bottle and bag is labelled in bold letters, the name, class and section. Please ensure that the child's bag has his or her residential address and the bus number if they are waiving it. Parents are requested to carry their ID card when they come to pick up the award. The school follows a dress code for the students, so please adhere to it and ensure that the children are neatly dressed up for school. Although birthdays of your children are special to us, let the celebrations be simple in school. For class UKG2, it is advisable to send, the birth, to send on the birthday date a stationary item to be shared with his or her classmate. The children can come dressed up in casual clothes on their birthday. We will be having two breaks, a fruit break and a lunch break. So please send the difference accordingly. To inculcate good table manners, the students are required to bring table mats and cloth napkin. All changes in phone numbers, address of the parent or the child's guardian have to be intimated to the school office in a written application at the earliest. Kids are like a mirror. What they see and hear, they do. Be a good reflection for them. At the end of the day, the most overwhelming key to a child's success is the positive involvement of the parents. Encourage your child to read and participate in activities. Set a time aside for the recap of the concepts done in class. Maintain a positive attitude and support your ward's educator in fulfilling her role. All Saturdays are off for the students. Parents can come and meet the educators with a prior appointment between 9.30 and 11 a.m. The school website is regularly updated with selected pictures of the students, attendance, timetable and circulars. Stay updated, stay connected. The student-centric information is accessible through the parent login ID on the school website. To login, mention the numeric admission number of your ward. We at Smart Wonders have a YouTube channel. If you subscribe to the channel, all the latest videos are uploaded very regularly and you can see them. Okay, parents, I am sharing a poem that's very, very close to my heart. Whose child is this? I asked one day. Seeing a little one out at play. Mine, said the parent with a tender smile, to prepare him that he may always be good and each day do the things that he should. Whose child is this? I asked again. As the door opened, someone came in. Mine, said the teacher with the same tender smile. Mine to keep just for a little while. To teach him how to be gentle and kind, to train and direct his dear little mind. Whose child is this? I asked once more, just as the little one entered the door. Ours, said the parent and the teacher as they smiled, and each took the hand of the little child. Ours to love 
and train together as this blessed task forever. We have a Facebook account page and an Instagram page. So we would like all the parents to share and follow. Can we have a thumbs up from all the parents that we're doing it today? It's important because your child is worth it. Thank you. Thank you, dear parents. We look forward to your cooperation and support in all our endeavors to make this academic year a happy and fruitful one. I would now invite our academic head, Sarika Ma, to please introduce the team of teachers.
Last but not the least, for 2D section, we have Ms. Mekha Sharma. A very good afternoon to one and all present here. I am Mekha Sharma and I will be taking class 2D. And I hope after all these two years, you all are as refreshed and as energized as we teachers are, as our children are coming back to the school. And I'm looking forward for a very successful year ahead where we parent and we school, we can work as a team together for the growth of our children. Thank you. So, thank you. And uh, I am quite sure and confident that together with a strong team of educators, and the kind of enthusiastic parents that I see in front of me uh, with the great number that you all are here is really heartening. I extend a very kind of welcome to the next academic session and uh, your support and your uh, enthusiasm is actually going to create everything. So together we can do it. So let's make a difference. Now, uh, academics without the activities is something like uh, a dish without salt. So, I invite my activity teachers, uh, kindly come on stage. Harthrit ma'am, she is taking care of the art, the performing arts of the art. Good afternoon all, I am Harthrit Kaur. I am art educator and I am here to help you. And you can come to me whenever you feel like and I'm here to improve your skills, right? And thank you so much. So I think the kind of work that you see in front is already evident as to what your child is going to learn here in school. Uh, next we have our dance educator and of course children really look forward to seeing her in the class. great because of their passion. I am Piti Aroda. I am teaching here, dance here from last seven years. And last two years, you know everyone, very challenging for us. And But with the help of respected principal ma'am, thank you so much ma'am, junior in head and coordinator and yes, parents also. And yes, grandparents also because we know it. Time online, time to time for only class right? And yes, especially thanks to our kids. Good afternoon, kids. Yes, hi. Good afternoon, everyone. Yes, I'm also very excited as students are coming back to our school. Thank you so much, and I will make sure your student will be more confident and love classes so much. Thank you so much. Uh, we uh, we uh, always tend to forget the additional languages, I believe. So that's what I have done today. So Punjabi is uh, something which we all should take pride in. And I think to learn, it would be wonderful. So we have a wonderful faculty. Uh, Sukhinder Nath is going to take Punjabi learning ahead. Uh, Sameno, ਮੇਰਾ <laughs> The wonderful thought कि कुछ भी मुश्किल नहीं है अगर हमारे अंदर वो जज्बा और वो चाहत हो तो मुझे लगता है कि with this group I invite the children and the parents and we educators to take this challenge to move ahead and forget what happened during those two years and uh, keep moving on to a good learning so uh, we have few more activity teachers they will be joining us shortly so your children will keep getting a prize with them thank you all of you and uh, it's been wonderful. Thank you, Sarkar.
Um, we now have a heartwarming video for our parents.
So I'm sure that all the teachers sitting there, though this is the third time I'm speaking, they cannot say, ma'am, to wohi cheez sare dono mein bol rahe thi ya. So I'm glad that you're shaking because there is so much to say. There is so much to do. I don't have a prepared speech. Every moment is different. Every occasion is different. So when I saw this video last time, I actually couldn't stop crying because this was a surprise for from you know uh, the coordinator. And I said, at least you could have shown it to me before that at least you know I could have cried at home and over here I would have been more composed. But yet a few tears again came. Why? Because that is what is needed. That is what we are here for. That connect. The child and the parent, the child and the teacher, right? I can see ma'am's eyes still filled with tears. That is what I'm talking about. The fact of the matter is that all of you sitting here, every one of you, and I can see one of our teacher also. So right now she's a parent. Our children are the most important people in our lives. Are they not? Yes. Yes. So when we get married, our spouse is so important. We spend so much of time with them, and maybe when you know we are actually when they are our boyfriends or girlfriends, even more so maybe. But once the child is born, all our energies are focused on that child. Be it the parents, be it the grandparents. वो मैंने सुनी हुई ये कहावत कहते हैं ना कि आई थिंक वो ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स भी हम बच्चों को प्यार करना कम कर देते हैं और अपने ग्रैंड चिल्ड्रन को ज्यादा करते हैं इट्स ट्रू बिकॉज द चाइल्ड टेक्स ओवर आर लाइफ ही बिकम्स आर यूनिवर्स सो दैट इज व्हाई आई एम सो हम्बल एंड सो ग्रेटफुल टू ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर ट्रस्टिंग अस विद दैट प्रेशियस चाइल्ड एंड आई वाउच फॉर द फैक्ट दैट वी विल हैंडल योर प्रेशियस चाइल्ड विद ऑल द लविंग and caring that a child needs and here we are not just talking about academics we are not talking about marks we are not talking about maths and evs all that will happen as the child grows every child will learn to read and write and do his math and know his evs but what we are talking about is the overall development of that child a happy child a balanced child a confident child that is what we are talking about if the child has the confidence if the child has the competency and understanding of what we are doing the child doesn't have to learn anything the marks will come marks are just a part of our life how many of you remember how many marks you got in class 2 in a particular subject or 3 and even if you do remember if you have such a good memory how does it matter where you are does it matter no but the kind of personality that you have the kind of person that you have what are you doing with your life that is what is important and that is what we do for our children here we ensure that the children are happy individuals if the children go back happy i don't think we can have any unhappy parents right so it's a happiness quotient that we will ensure the team will ensure the teachers here the coordinator here the head of your map they all here for your children i can guarantee there is no other school where the parents are given so much of access and where we request you that please connect with us give us your written feedback every quarter before the pkm we ask you in detail tell us what is it that you found was not okay and why is that so not just to get the feedback we analyze that data and wherever we find that more than 10% of the parents feel that what you are doing is not up to the mark just more than 10% we look into it we bring about changes so that is why we can very rightly say that we are in partnership with our parents what you feel what you say we listen to the reason being is that the parents know their children the best so if you are saying this is good for my child it would be applicable to many children so as teachers as an institution as a school we always listen to our parents 
and we do our best to resolve the problems or issues that are being raised. So at the first level it is going to be done by the teachers. So connect with the teacher, stay connected, communicate. If you learn something from the video, there are multiple ways of talking, communicating. You don't have the time to meet the teacher, send a note. You have a diary, write the note in the diary. Send us a mail. We would be the first school that would be encouraging parents. Send us mails. You have a problem? Put it in writing. We will resolve it. We are not pushing anything under the carpet. We want to know because we are here to provide the best kind of education for the child. And if there is anything that is stopping it from happening, we want to know because we want to resolve it, not hide it. Right? So connect with us. Call. Send a mail. Come and meet. Your, your, all your problems will get resolved at the class teacher level. However, if they still get escalated, Manin Ma'am will look after them. She is the coordinator of the foundation years. If that still doesn't happen, Sarika Ma'am is there. She will look after them. She is heading the junior wing. So, let all your problems get resolved. And of course, now I will repeat myself like I am telling everyone. I don't think anything should come after that to me. But if it still does, I am there. My door is open. You can call anytime. You can come and meet anytime. Right? So there is nothing that cannot be resolved. Because if there is a problem, there has to be a solution. We just have to find an amicable solution. Right? So and that will only happen from talking to the right person. Not in informal groups that I come to hear about sometimes. Because that will not give you any solution. So let's not form any informal groups. If you have a problem, talk to the right person. Right? Communication is very important, but with the right person, in the right channel, and your problems will be resolved. So there is nothing that we can't do that you need done, but we just need to know about it. You just need to tell us and timely. Right? And of course, you know, I think everything has already been explained. Today, go back and do some homework. One, go through your almanac, the child's almanac, cover to cover. And you will come to know most of the rules that need to be followed either by the child or by the parent to assist. Right? So let's do that. If we want something from others, let's start doing it. Right? And this is where I also tell, because a lot of parents when they come for admission or when they are talking to me and they look at, what is the curriculum, what is the syllabus and in this school as a principal I discuss that with the parents also. What is it that we are going to be doing in class 1 and 2? Why? So that they get that confidence. Right? And they, a lot of parents always ask me, why is it that you don't have moral science? You know, most schools have moral science. Well, moral science is not something that you have to learn as question and answers. Right? The best way to learn values which is moral science, is to observe and imbibe. So, children are little mirrors. You must have heard of this, I mean, uh, on a lighter note when, uh, because my boys are now marriageable age, so I've been hearing this. Agar aapne ladki dekhni hai, to uski mother girl ki mother ko dekh lo. Agar aapne ladka dekhna hai, to boy ke father ko dekh lo. Ye suna hoa aapne? Purani kahawat hai maare, you know. To elderly people were very knowledgeable. What does that mean? The children become mini parents. Right? So what we do, our children are observing us all the time. So if I want to teach my child the value of being honest and in front of the child, I am not being honest with multiple people. Is it possible that the child will learn the value of truth just because the teacher did a lesson in class ki humko hamesha sach bolna chahiye is that possible no so agar aap phone pe kisi ko bol rahe ho main apni wife ko bol rahe ho ki bata do main to ghar pe nahi hu koi baat nahi you know main baad mein baat kar dunga the child is observing right and we expect the child to be honest well it's not going to happen the child might become so smart that he will not tell you on the face, Papa, you also did the same thing. 
and that shows cleverness, right? So, आपने एक उसको life skill ऐसी सिखा दी जो आपको नहीं चाहिए अपने बच्चे में. So, whether it is life skills or it is the value system, it comes from observing the best way. So, if you want your child to be sympathetic, empathetic, kind, gentle. You just have to do it yourself, right? That is all there is to it. It just trickles down, and that is what our teachers do. So, if we want our children to be punctual, they are going to be punctual. If we want our children to be neatly dressed, our teachers are going to do that, and you have to do that. So, we just have to teach our children the life skills and the values. By action, not words. Words have no meaning if they are not backed up by action. Maths we can teach, EBS we can teach, right? Languages we can teach, English, Hindi, Punjabi, by question answers, by understanding, by doing. But when it comes to values, when it comes to social skills, it has to be natural. It has to be observed. We cannot have two faces, one for the world, one for our children, right? It has to be the same, and that is where then you will have authentic children, and your parenting skills will be what they should be. So please be very, very careful of this. Unfortunately, nowadays a lot of the younger parents are more concerned about what others think and see than what they are actually supposed to be doing. Spend more time with your children, not informing the world of what you might have done or might not have done. So let's take a step back from this media, from uh, you know uh, sharing with others. And share more with our children. They need a lot of connect. They need our time. They don't need the gadgets or the toys. They want our time. And I don't know how many of you will, uh, you know, agree. You give expensive toys to the child, but the child will pick up something from the house, right? So when little babies, you know, we buy all those expensive gadgets and and those trains, and they are like thousand, two thousand, five thousand. In my time, it was. Now I'm sure it's in tens and twenties. But what did my children do? I have twin boys. They would go into the kitchen. They would pick up a patilla and they would pick up the chimcha and they would start playing the drum with that. So they're telling us we don't need those toys. We don't need money from you. We need you and whatever is around we can manage. So let's give what the children need: our love and attention and our care. And I promise you, we will do that in school. We are here. We will look after your child the way they are supposed to be looking looked after. And you are on the other side, holding the child's hand to support us. We cannot go in two different directions with the child. We have to walk together. And wherever you feel we are going wrong, please tell us. Connect with us. Tell us. You want more? We will discuss. So that is the most important thing that they are your priority. They are our priority also. The school, this building, is nothing without the children and the teachers in it. That is the foundation of this school. So believe me, I am so grateful and I am so humbled to see this full uh, auditorium with all you smart, young, and old grandparents and energetic. And I think the grandparents are more energetic than the parents. Yes. So I really appreciate and thank you for everything that you're doing for your little ones and all the children. Raise your hands. All the children, raise your hands. Thank you for being with your parents here today. We are so happy to see you here, and you have made our day. We have been waiting for you for two years now, right? So let's put everything behind us. And take a leap into the future and cover up all the loss or learning loss that has happened 
the social connect is going to be strong please make sure that the children are punctual to school are regular to school unless they are unwell let's not lose out on another day of learning very very important thank you so much parents it is it is my privilege and pride to be standing here and thank you avinash ma'am for giving me the opportunity to be here standing in front of all these children to be the principal for these past many years and to lead this school into the future i really appreciate ma'am ma'am please come here she has been a pillar for me she is my support and without her nothing would be all to the joy of early in smart wonders children clap everybody i have to be back in school yes this clap again for your parents for your teachers and for yourself thank you everyone and all the best for you Thank you, Poonam Ma'am and Avinash Ma'am, for your words of encouragement. I will now request Sarika Ma'am to propose the word of thanks. So before I actually thank each one of you, it is indeed my proud privilege that, uh, as you all are aware, we uh, held a kind of competition. because that is what we want maximum parental involvement and uh, we had a competition where we had asked you to uh, give a wonderful or a beautiful name uh, to the kind of newsletter that we will be you know starting for giving you a kind of kaleidoscopic view of what all is being done in the academy so curricular activities and what all exactly happens in the school so once you go through that you come to know It, what all is happening and uh, as ma'am has just shared you can always add your inputs so that we can actually scale higher and do better so i would request uh, avinash ma'am and principal ma'am to kindly uh, honor and i would request uh, mrs navin kaur ma'am Uh, so her uh, she has uh, given an apt name to the newsletter and that's panorama and so that's how uh, we acknowledge her efforts and the participation so i think she really deserves a loud applause participating this way uh, he is actually you know may not uh, actually tell you but definitely is feeling very proud of his mother so we would uh, rather feel your that in future our endeavor would be to have more such uh, parental involvement uh, along with some kinds of interactions or activities workshops Uh, your inputs would be welcome how we can involve each one of you because i think it's wonderful and everyone wants you know, to be acknowledged that we're on the stage so whenever we plan and whenever we carry out a kind of project where parents are supposed to participate i would request each one of you to give your best so it's all about participation yes it's in the game the winner is there but then that's what you are teaching your child that's participation is more important so as we come to the close of the day i uh, would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to avinash ma'am in the beginning because it's the all comes from the hierarchy that if the support system are very strong then i think we have the confidence to move ahead in all the kind of endeavors that we have all the planning that we do for the school secondly i think what you have witnessed today a very sensitive principal and a person who is sensitive to the environment and to the needs of the child i would say is a wonderful person because 
the, she's actually going to take care of the needs of your child even before they are actually spoken about. So looking at you all here in uh, physically present in the school is really heartwarming for all of us. Wishing each one of us the year ahead where we interact more, we learn more, we work towards the benefit and the overall development of our kids. So have a, have a good day and wishing you all the best. Thank you. So before we just close, I would uh, request each one of you to rise for the national anthem.